Hi, Jane. My Hello. Can you hear me okay, yeah? I can. No. My name is Andy. I'm the old school gentleman. That's my name that I use for showbiz names. Um, ple pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to uh, meet you. Thank you for joining us on Integrity Magazine tonight. It's going to be a thank pleasure you. to see you. So have you, had a, um, have you had a lovely day today? Well, I haven't. It's been a good day. I did a little photo shoot for the town council. It was a Christmas one. So I've got my Santa outfit on, my Santa bow and my glitter. Because I thought, well, because of the lockdown, you know, I'm to stay safe. I thought, well, I'd celebrate Christmas a bit earlier. Wonderful. You look, you're looking really good. Thank you. I love dressing up. I like sparkle. I like... But this isn't real fur, but I love all these sort of fur coats, bows, curly hair, you know, all the kind of um, ostentatiousness, flamboyant stuff. Flamboyant and out there and enjoying yourself, living life to Excellent. the fullest. Yeah. Exactly how it should be. That's right. So it was it for an event today that you were dressed up and doing all that? or? Yeah, it was for the town council. Because we can't have a proper Christmas this year, they decided they'd make a video of people like me, you know, they know me very well. In fact, I'm probably the most famous woman that ever lived in Hungerford. And they just got me to do a little a video with them, dancing around the Christmas tree and putting the lights up. Down, it was outside. It wasn't inside. Wonderful. Is that, good? Is that being filmed today then? Was it filmed for anything? Or? No, no, it's just for the town council. But uh, I have no, got some films coming up in the future i've done six films already this, um, besides my reality tv so i've got six imbds i did cannibal lake that was i was a monster i did ernie i did the x factor i've been on the x factor with my rubber snake singing born to be wild and yeah. um i've seen about your snake is that mr fantastic yeah i could get him out you know if you would like to see him have you got mr fantastic with you I could. I hang on a minute. Ah. <laughs> He's coming. He likes coming out. He's coming out. Hang on. He's in the cupboard. Get back, you beast. Get out. There he is. He's the famous snake that went on the. Simon Cowell met him. He yeah. Said, oh my God. Have we landed on an. <laughs> I'm Miss Viperish and he's Mr. Fantastic. And we sang Born to be Wild on the X Factor. We met the, you know, but Simon Powell pressed the yes button, but none of the others did. It was did it you? was a great experience though for me. Did you like Mr. Fantastic? I love him. Yeah, I've got him on the back of my leg. Hang on a minute. I went on Hi. tattoo fix fixes extreme. Hang on a minute. I don't know if you can see it. There you are. There he is. There's the snake on my leg, tattooed. Mr. Fantastic on your leg, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> he, he's as mad as a hatter like me. He sang born to the wild. Get your motor running, heading down the highway, looking for adventure, whatever comes our way. Yeah, darling, gonna make it happen. Take the world in a love embrace. Fire all of your guns, that one sun, explode into space. I like smoke and lightning, heavy metal thunder, racing with the wind. And then it's like, born to be one, born to be one. By the way, I can't sing, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a comedian entertainer. That's why they have me on there. They rang me up and asked me to come. I like uh, a guy with your goal. That was a great experience. That was probably the most. Well, I hadn't really done much before that. That was the beginning, really, for me. You're um, you can imagine. Well, then you. Sorry. Did you, did you take Mr. Fantastic on Britain's Got Talent? I've never got through Britain's Got Talent. I've only got to the second stage because I now do granny rap. I'm a granny rapper. We're not. We're more into aliens and snakes now. I mean, you have to keep inventing new things, and I love the aliens. I mean, I'm Mr. Vice, he ain't nice. I could show you Mr. Vice. Would you like to see him? 
Yes, you can show me, Mr. Bites. I'm going to have to, hang on a bit. I don't want to set this camera, then. <laughs> hang on a bit. A slipper's coming off now. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it, eh? Hang on a minute. I'll show you. He's my only boyfriend. Well, I wouldn't get a boyfriend, would I? <laughs> I'm, I'm too sure mad. I'm sure you would. No, I get loads of not being cocky. They really like me, but I'm not too keen to get, I'm too busy. Look, look, here he is. Can you see him? Hang on. Ah, oh, yes. I love his hair. His hair looks fabulous. That's Mr. Bass. He ain't nice. He's got itchy head last. He took me on a honeymoon. I love alien. I love creepy. Look at that one. Ooh, yeah, yeah, really, 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 really. He's nasty. He is. Ooh, he bit me then. You swine. Get down there. <laughs> That's one of them goblin things, isn't it, from when we were little? <laughs> no, no, he's cute, isn't he? I, I collect all horrible things. I um, know well, not cabbage patch dolls as well. Oh, you saw those, did you? Oh, I got 42 of them. They're part of my... I don't want to mess this photo, mess it up, because if it jumps about, there's loads of weird, wild, wacky things. Look, look, Halloween doll. Can you see her? Yeah. Oh, she's horrible, but I love her to bits. Got all these cabbage patch dolls. They're all over the house. Well, here. Anyway, I'll get back to my station, Captain. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I'm coming back. Right. Let's get my slipper on. You know I'm an OAP, don't you? Behaving badly at all times. You know that, don't you? You're only as young as you feel, aren't you? That's the best way well, to be. I can do the splits. You can do the splits. I, can, I do it all the time, and I can twirl on one leg. I can't really show you because otherwise I might sort of like you put your leg up, you hold it like this with your foot, and you go yeah. round and round. I can't film it because it will disrupt this. It will make it go all yeah. funny. Mm. So tell me about tattoo fixers. Did you have? A, was it good when you were getting your tattoo done on tattoo fixers? Well, when I went there, I had a great time, but it's not, it's not for pussies. It's for very brave people because that hurt a lot. And Mr. Fantastic, he was, I was holding on to him for grim death. And Alice did the tattoo. And my yeah. God, he did that hurt. Because the black's all right. But when she started putting the color in, I was like, <laughs> but yeah. I had a great, Great experience with them. Every everybody, everything I've ever done, people have been very nice to me. Because I normally sort of kiss them and hug them and put my hand out, you know, and play yeah. little old granny, you know, with my little thumb in my mouth. Mm, help me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's trouble. Can't do that really at the moment, can we though? With this lockdown. No, we can't. There's none of that going on. No, lockdown. <laughs> And stay safe, everybody out there. Don't go mingling. Kick your mask. In. And you, you were on Come Diamond with me as well, weren't you? Yes, I was. I got the lowest score anyone has ever had in the history of the show. Really? And um, yeah, I got eleven points, and it was quite embarrassing, really. But they have look. I'm an, I'm a comedian. I look about. I'm not worried about coming last. I quite like being last. And the food was quite atrocious anyway, compared to the others. But they liked me a lot. I know they did, the, the crew and the film people, because they played my theme tune at, tune at the end, Born to be Wild. The food was awful, though. It was dreadful food. We had parma ham and melon. We had stew, which I tipped a tin of soup in, in a slow cooker, and bread and butter, bread and butter pudding, me dears. And I got a bit, I got a bit cocky with that one because it rose and it rose and it rose. And I said, and I'm going into production. I could imagine this house full of <laughs> tanks and chews and you know. <laughs> but no, no, that was that was it was good. Every you know, all the things I've done really, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. That's the best way to be. And you were on um, Punchiners on the pull or something, wasn't it, in Benidorm? Well, it was. It was. It was last on tell. Well, it was on the telly the 9th of August this year, and and what it was, I went out to Benidorm to get a job out there, 
as a granny rapper. I certainly was not on the pool. That is not what would I, I like to be ladylike and be fine. Yeah. And I, I did granny rap and I auditioned in a bar and I did get the job. I can do a bit of granny rap if you want. Do you want to? Me a bit granny rap? Granny rap, feel okay to do some granny rap. All right. That's the granny. We're so sweet. We're so nice. Normal life or not so fast. Legs and bones in the air in a trice. We ain't mice, we shake the dice for a happy life. You old grannies, get out there and socialize. Cause life is short and pretty soon it's gonna be ostracized. You old grannies, I didn't take my advice. I got enticed and spliced to Mr. Vice. He took me on a honeymoon. He kissed me once, he kissed me twice. He kissed me thrice. We end up with a big surprise. Baby Vice. He shits and he poos and he smells like dead mice. Daddy Vice said, Daddy Vice said, We'll still up, baby! Oh, for a heart crash. I said, Daddy Vice, I ain't selling baby bags, even though he's a big sacrifice. Instead, we go to the land of snow and ice, and there we will relax and forget about the stresses of life. That was fantastic. I think you Thank should be I should be what? You should be signed up by Tiny Temple or somebody. Well, you find me somebody. I'm here. I'm waiting. I'm ready. I'm able. I, you know, I, I will. I give all of the best I've got. I give 100% every time I do something. I'm hardworking, dedicated. I turn up on time. And that's what made me successful because I'm thoroughly reliable. That's the best way as well. Yeah. And you're live on the Integrity Magazine as well. On, so there's somebody, yeah. sign, sign Jane up as the granny rapper. Well, also, I, won't mind, I often think, if you look at me, if I have my hair up, not this bow on, hang on a minute, hang on. No, I'll leave it, hang on a minute. I look a bit like Barbara Windsor, right? And I, 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 I mean, I'm, I, she's my inspiration. I could never be as yeah. great as that. But I wouldn't mind being in a TV series because I am, I am naturally, well, I like to think I'm funny. I'm not, well, I, I just think I'm naturally mess around the whole time. Wherever I go, I'm playing. Yeah. But um, I am in, sorry? Just being yourself, that's the best way, just enjoying life. That's it. It is, yeah. I can be dark and serious, though. I, I do a bit of Shakespeare as well. I knight people with my sword. Do you want to see that? I'll knight you. Stay there. I've got to get my sword. Hold on. Nope. Shall I? Yeah, sure. I've got a man here, man. Hey! You just gone to get a sword, ladies and gentlemen. She was back shortly. Fair Andy. Knight of the Crown. Now, hang on a minute. I'm here now. Think pop tail of the feather, then. Right. Right, I'm here now. Right. This is. Mary Tudor at the Guild Hall, right? This is from Shakespeare, okay? okay? I come unto you in mine own parson to tell you that which you already know, and that is how traitorously and rebelliously a number of pentious men have assembled themselves together against us and you. However, I have my loyal subject here, Andy from Integrity. Rise, Sir Andy, Lord of the Integrity Show, an interviewer. <laughs> it's all, it's all crazy, you know. I, I adapt things. I've got a YouTube. I've got a YouTube channel, Jane Buckle, and a website, JaneBuckle.co.uk, and I've got Facebook. I've got all those um, wonderful social things, um, you know. Have you been on the latest thing of TikTok? Have you joined the TikTok land like most people yeah, do? But, mm, I, I don't know. I prefer YouTube personally. I've yeah. got a lot of stuff on YouTube and Instagram. But um, <clears throat> I did do some filming re very recently. We were lucky to get it in before the lockdown. I did it for Bargain Brits. 
And that is on, will be on Channel 5 in the new year. And that was incredible. They said, we made TV gold. Because what happened, we were meant to be cooking. Oh, oh dear. And they fused all the lights in the house. And the oven went off. And my friend is all serious. She was saying, Jane, I told you to check this oven. And it wouldn't work. So I was down on my knees screaming at the oven. I am going to put my head in this oven. I can't stand it. I hate, I hate cooking. I never cook. Yeah, and I was like, oh. and then I, then we did, um, they filmed me down in Hungerford doing a show for prostate cancer. And I was all dressed in silver with my snake. And it, I looked surrealistic. I began to look like something out of Game of Thrones. And they re, we had a great time together filming. And yeah. that that would be on telly. But I did do Naked Attraction, which, oh, dear, oh, dear, that was terrifying for me. I stood in the box, right? I'm thinking, crass, I've got no clothes on. So I put was a that, sticker that, down that, there. Was that recently? Put a sticker, in attraction yeah. There. Yeah, it'd be on 2020. It hasn't even been aired yet. So I put a sticker down there because I felt you know, quite embarrassed. And the man didn't like me, chucked me off straight away. He said, Hmm. she's hiding it. I thought, yeah, I am hiding it, all right, aren't I? He didn't like the fact I wear a lot of jewellery. So they booted me off. He booted me off. First off, how embarrassing, how shameful. Anna liked me. She said, oh, you're missing your little pocket Venus. And I went, I'm Jamie B, naughty OAP. I didn't get picked, as you can see, but I'm still happy as a honey bee. And off I ran, and I stuck my legs in the air and ran off. <laughs> <laughs> and i seen i seen you were um, on Big Brother's Bit on the Side as well, where you've done a 12 for uh, Rylan as well. Oh, I love Big Brother. Oh, they were the days. Started off, I was doing poems, like rapping, you know, for the, uh, the celebrities on the show, like... This is somebody heavy D. You're the man for me. Somebody, you know, anybody. But what I did was he called me out because I would always get dressed up to the nines. Come out, he said. And I went, Riley, can I do a twirl? Go on, darling, off you go. So I do this twirl on one leg. And then the split. Then I run up the stairs, fall down. And James Jordan said, I think it winked at me. <laughs> it's bonkers, isn't it? What I did. It's all good fun, though. That's yeah. that's a bad way. As long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. Yeah. Do so you believe you've got some films coming out next year? What what films have you got coming out next year? Um. Well, I'm in a film. We were going to film it. It's called Seventy Two, and it was going to be filmed in a nightclub in Reading. I've got that one to do. And then there's Duffy. This is a part. I, I've definitely got that one. Duffy, I don't really know what it's about. And then the other one is Spoken Silence, which I'm this sort of elderly sort of person. And I, I'm putting on an act because I'm getting benefits. And I sort of groaning and moaning. Ah, I can't get, you know, to my wheelchair. Ah, my mobility scooter. Yeah. Ah, I nearly choking myself. Oh, and then at night, I'm a dominatrix in the nightclubs, twirling and whirling and whacking men to get my <laughs> beer and drug money. By the way, I don't take drugs or beer much, so don't drink it. So this is just a part. I'm a nice, clean person. So you disguise yourself as a, a granny in a pensioner home and then at night yeah. you're a dominatrix in the film. Yeah, I make, I make it up and they like it, what I make up. I mean, I've got all the gear, I've got all sorts you know i've got the 20 foot of chain in the cupboard there i've got everything in this house unbelievable i've got snakes i got outfits i got feather fans you name it it's all in the cupboard <clears throat> and have you been for your weekly fancy dress outfit for this week well <clears throat> It's a bit tricky at the moment. Well, I went there the other day because it was Halloween. I bought that horrible little doll, that Halloween doll, and I bought a blow-up woman. I didn't have it because it's handy as a prop. Yeah. I can't see so I bought a blow-up woman. But I've got so many outfits in here. I mean, just forget what I have got, really. Party outfits. It's just the house will collapse soon. I've got rose fur coat, roll upon row. They're not real. Um, 
Mm. And you went you went on a speed day with Ron and Kem, didn't you, at one point? I did, I did. That was in Camden. And I jumped in the taxi wearing a pink fur coat and my little legs going. I grabbed him, you know. As soon as I got in there, I went, ooh, kissing. Mm. Uh, Before lockdown. And we were laughing. I wrapped him. I did a bit of granny wrap. And I did the Al Capone one. I'll do that to him. Anyway, he said, would you date now Eamon Holmes? Eamon Holmes was watching. It was his show. And I said, yes, I would. And Eamon Holmes was laughing his socks off. I'll do a bit of this when I can't. Well, this is Gangster Granny. Gangster Granny, you're so sweet. You're so canny. Al Capone is on the phone. He knows you can make a moan. Dillinger, Bonnie and Clyde need you on their side because they know you take enemies aside and give them a rough ride. Right. <laughs> Fantastic. It, and they've got music. Each one has got its own music. Yeah. So... <clears throat> Yeah, so it, it's all original. I make the poem up, and then I go in a recording studio with a friend of mine, Phil, One Drive. But we can't at the moment because of lockdown. We, we're just not able to do anything much, really. Yeah, we. I can't film either at the moment. It's quite tough at the minute in the industry, isn't it? Yeah, and then once I, I went filming in Kathmandu, they, they, happy days for the Nepalese film industry. And oh, I was this crazy, that's crazy old. And it's on YouTube, Happy Days. And I got um, a personal thank you from the Nepalese ambassador because I don't think I'm not I'm not racist. They're lovely people. I don't think they've had any Caucasian people in their films before. Yeah. And as we were staged at the premiere in Order Master, he looked at me and said, "Go on, Jane, do us, give us a twirl." And I went. Rrr, rrr. <laughs> <laughs> it's rolling all over the world, aren't we? It's fun, you know. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I don't know, but I, I know that I'm. You know, people see me. I'll give you. I'll give you a hundred percent, and I've got no other commitments. I don't live with anyone. I've got no children. You know, I'm free. I'm a free spirit. I can do whatever. I, I could go to Siberia filming if they want. Just go and go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So did you do anything for Halloween then last week or? Um, well, yes and no. I put a bit, I can't really, you know, there was nothing on, you know, I just stayed at home and I had a tea party for the Cabbage Patch Dolls and we were drinking, um, what were we drinking? Baileys. And we, th we did enjoy that. But, and then I took them all in the front room. It's on my YouTube channel and I'm laid out there like a Cabbage Patch Doll with all 42 Cabbage Patch dolls surrounding me. Yeah, that's what I did for Halloween. So you you and the 42 Cabbage Patch dolls got drunk on Baileys? Yeah, we did, oh, yeah. Sounds like a good night. It was. And you do a lot for charity work as well, don't you? I do. I've got a list here. <clears throat> I started off doing dancing for Age UK in Brixton. Then I did Boys Beating Cancer in Newbury, and I got a medal for that. But what it was, it was a two-mile track, and it took my friend and I, who was dressed as a unicorn, it took us two hours because we were mucking about so much. We were so slow. And I was last. I made myself come last. He, I was ahead of him, then I ran backwards, so I'd be last. Then I've done, I've done Children in Need, a Charity in Hungerford Together, Macmillan Nurses with my bucket in Marks and Spencers in Newbury. A St. Christopher's Hospital, Hospice, Sports Relief, I did that, that was on telly. I was Paddy McGuinness's cheerleader with another lady. That was hilarious. I met a lot of stars there. I met Will Young. I like Will Young a lot. Um, and recently, Prostate Cancer, I've done that one. And I'm hoping to do some more for that one because I've got all the bits out there. I've got the flags, I've got everything, the T-shirt all this stuff to do it but at the moment you can't yeah you can't do anything much can we can't no. no no and we've got and we've got you going into we you trust me i'm a doctor is that as well yeah. yeah i did that that was a bit tame for me I had to be you know like sensible 
is about high blood pressure and doing yoga. Does yoga reduce? And it did seem to, because I still do yoga now. Yeah. It was a serious show. You know, you couldn't be dressed flamboyant. Well, I did a bit of flamboyant yeah. stuff, but it had to be sensible. <clears throat> Hang on now. Look, I did party pensioners. I was, that, just gonna, I was just coming to come on to that one, party pensioner. Yeah, well, that went, where did it go? Oh, yeah, that went to Australia on the Stan channel, and it was repeated in lockdown. I have got a date here. Hang on a minute. Hmm. You can know. Oh, 10th of July, it came on telly here again. See, what they're doing at the moment, they're repeating everything, aren't they? Yeah, because they, they have film new stuff up in the can they? No, no. So it, they repeated tattoo fixes. I got half a million views for that. I, I put it on Facebook, you know, and then it's popular. And yeah. Yeah, that's really good. It is, isn't it? Have you, what, what's your plans for the rest of the weekend? Have you got anything else coming up this weekend? Uh, no, not really. Can't, can I? I mean, I would have been filming in Reading, but I can't do it now. I, ju I just have to stay at home and play with myself. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I mean, what I meant was I've got to play with my toys. I might yeah. do a bit of juggling, juggling my apples. I don't Jimmy. know what I'm going to do. What what other films have you got coming out? This is love. Was love possibly a new one? Or is that something that you've done previously? Yeah, that was some time ago. I told you about Happy Days in Kathmandu. Yeah. Um, I was a warrior. I was a Viking warrior in Viking Wars. That's come out on DVD. Um, really, my filming career is just beginning. I've got six so far. I told you what they were. Cannibal yeah. Lake. I was a monster in that, monster mother. And I was like a horrible, we had to wear masks, evil looking, horrible. And I was the mother and they'd go, Mummy, Mummy, Mummy. And they're six foot tall. <laughs> I'm four foot ten. <laughs> <laughs> My acting career is, is in the beginning. You know, it, I've done six. I've probably done a bit more than that. But in the future, there's three more, so that'd be nine. You never know what's out there, what's around the corner. No, you don't. Definitely. No. Because have you, have you always been into this kind of industry? Because I noticed you used to be an import and export manager, didn't you? Yeah, no. I, I, no. I looked after my dad for many years. Yeah. I was like, I should have gone to drama school. If I'd have known that I well, got the right personality for this. Crazy, you know, like eccentric, you know. They like all that. Reality TV loves me. I shouldn't say that, but they do. They do like me. Because I'm naughty, you know, like if they took me out for the day, like if it, one day I went to the zoo and I jump in with the wild animals, you know, like the tapirs, I'd be stroking them. Come <laughs> on, my boy. Come here, you. You know, I'm just naughty. Like I went to Oliver Cromwell's house with my nephews. And this was really bad. I got hold of Oliver Cromwell. I lifted his, the coverings up on the bed and said he's got his granny's knickers on. Then I got his underpot and was drinking out of it. And then I went over to him and I said, you are ugly, aren't you? I'm going to try and get your head off. <laughs> I'm going to pull his head off. And then these normal people came visiting Cromwell's house and I had to hide behind the curtains that they came. And I was making groaning noises. Ooh, Oliver, Oliver, come to me. <laughs> so, well, so, do you want to do you want to give a plug for your like social media that people can follow you on? Yeah, I've got Facebook Jane Buckle. I've got four accounts on there. Friends who like Jane Buckle. Jane Buckle OAP. I've got Jane Buckle, I think it's Buckle Jane 196 Instagram, and I've got Twitter, and I've got YouTube. That's a good one. You can find me on there, Jane Buckle, J N E Buckle, B U C K L E. And I've got a website, janebuckle.co.uk. So, so that, that's, yeah. you've got every, I hope you've got every, everybody, and then you can all follow Jane's progress, can't you? Thank you. 
Uh, well, thank you so I much for coming on tonight. Thank you very much. The pleasure is all mine. It's been a pleasure. It really has. Um, it's been grateful to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope, Are you I hope you you go? Are you an actor? I am, yes. Yeah. I've been doing it for three or four years now. Yeah, yeah. What have I, you been? I, I played a, a, a smackhead in Merked, which is due out shortly. I was... In a what? Like a drug. I was a druggie in a film called Murph that's coming out shortly. Um, yeah. I was in Sequins with James Drapers, which was set in Blackpool in 1990s about a 17 year old boy who wanted to be a drag queen. Wow, I would like that one. I'd love to be a drag queen. <clears throat> so you can not. And then um, I was, I played a prisoner, which hasn't come out yet. in film called Breakout that was getting made, but it, it still hasn't come out. A lot of legal oh, things to do with that. Mm. Um, but next year, we've got some comedies coming out that we're making, mm. a bit like The Office, called Tickets, Please, which is stuck in cinema. Um, mm. And also, we've got... Well done. Like, like Top Gear as well. Mm, well done. Very good. Just, uh, Don't forget... Same boat as you, you can't feel I'm, I'm here waiting to be casted. Most definitely. We need we need somebody like you actually in tickets, please. So I will Do put you? your name forward. Yeah, I'll put Would your name you? forward. I will. Thank you very much. What well, say tell me what it's about again? Just give me another brief. It's a bit it's a bit like the office, but yeah. where they've got like more stuff going on in the background than he has on the main characters. But it's set in yeah. the cinema. Sit around the mm. cinema. You could have me there selling the ice cornets and the sweets, dressed like this. Yeah, definitely. We've got loads of stuff that's got to be coming, so All I'll right. keep, you, I'll keep your... you in the list. Thank you. What's your surname? I can follow you on Facebook. We're already friends on Facebook. What's your surname? Oh, yeah, Andy and Leah. Andy Bell, Andy Bell yeah. Andy Bell, okay, Andy. Thank you. But it's almost you want... like I'm viewing you now, aren't I? Hey? Yeah. It's all good, isn't it? It's like, it's like we're just having a chat. That's the best way to be. And yeah. all my other all my other social medias are all under the old school gentleman, TikTok, Instagram. Oh. Yeah, okay. Very nice. Andy Bell. Yeah. Very nice to have met you. So it's wonderful to have met you, Jane. And I thank you so much for letting me interview you for Integrity magazine. Thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful end of your evening. Thank you, and you. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you, now, Jane. Thank Love you. It. Have a good night. Bye bye, and you. God bless. God bless you all. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.